Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to do the setup, the leveling, and uh, we'll talk about the wash station and the curing station that comes with the Mars 3 Pro. Uh, you can buy it separately. So it's the Mars 3 Pro. We're going to level it. We're going to show you how to set it all up. And uh, if everything goes well, then uh, we'll move on to the wash station and curing station. We'll show you how all that process works. Uh, the leveling is the most important part, so we're going to do that first. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to level the Mars 3 Pro uh, resin printer. So, when we first started this, and I'm going to take this off. And we'll just set it on top of the curing machine for now. This sets down here. All right. Now, when it's leveled. But how do you get to that point? Well, let's show you. So first off, when you get the machine, you're going to, of course, need to power it up. And this won't be on, just so you know. You're going to go down to where it says Tools, go to Manual, switch to the 10 millimeter, and then just hit your up arrow until it goes up enough so you can get it on. I'm going to show you this whole process. So. It'll take a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. I did it once. I didn't do it right. So I'm learning from my mistake, as I said before, so I can show you the proper way this time. Okay, so that's good enough as long as you can get it on. So when it's done, this part here is what I'm going to take off, put back on so you can see how that's done. Okay, so this fastens on and off. You'll be doing this multiple times. Okay, so this is your plate. All right, there is plastic on this when you first get it. Make sure you take that off. Make sure you know how to take this off. But we're going to start from the basics. When this is down here, you can't get this on. There's a little part here. All right, see that? And you're just going to put it in there, slide it in until it doesn't go any further, and then just tighten this down. That's the first step. Now they give you Allen keys. You're going to loosen this one first, this one next, which is going to make this loose. And then we're going to take this off as well. And uh, we're going to do the leveling. I'll show you how that's done here in just one second. Okay, so with your Allen key, your Allen wrench, okay, go in here and you're going to loosen this. Shouldn't take very much. I've tightened it pretty good because you need to afterward, but for now, we're going to loosen this off. So now that that's nice and loose, that's what you want. And then kind of straighten it as much as you can. Before you do anything further though, you're going to need to take these out, and then we're going to go from there. So I'm just going to unscrew this. Okay, so once you loosen this, these screws come out, and you're going to lift this up. Now. After you've had resin in here, this gets a little colored. You can use 99% isopropanol alcohol and wipe it down. All right, so take that off. There you have just your plate. Now, like if you had a 3D, normal 3D printer, you have to level this and everything. I noticed a little bit of dirt on here, so I'm going to clean that off first, and then we're going to get on to the leveling. Okay, so leveling our printer. We're going to do this right according to the manual. So, after you've done the setup, you've taken all the plastic off of both the bottom of this, taken it out of your charcoal filter, taken it out of the bottom of this, underneath of this, make sure you take all plastic, check everywhere, because there's a lot of plastic on this. Okay, once this is on here, you loosen these with the uh, Allen key. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is remove your resin tank. Okay, these unscrew, lift this off, take it out of the way done that's step number one all right now next thing you want to do okay so go to tools go set c is zero okay now it says home first then manually adjust the c axis to the best position all right so we're going to go manual home so that should go all the way down and then we're going to go Wait till the platform stops moving. We're going to make sure this is level, lined up. 
And of course, we're going to need our piece of paper. Okay, see how that moved a little? All right. And you can just push on this to make sure it's good. Once that's good, then you want to take and go. You want to tighten these now. Okay, start with this one here. And then this one. All right, at that point, you're at the lowest point you can get. Now, it does tell you to tighten this one first and then that one after. Now, once the screws are tightened, we're going to have to do uh, something different because normally I would have left the paper in there. But what I want to do is I want to do this again. So I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to go up one. And that's so I can put my piece of paper underneath. All right, so we're going to do that. Because now I know everything is good there as far as being squared, I guess you could call it. Now we're going to go do it again. We're going to go back. Okay, manual again, home. Now I don't know why it goes down up, but it does. So of course, now that you've tightened the screws, okay, it's going to be tighter uh, when pulling out the A4 paper. So see, it's pretty, pretty tight in there. So now you need to calibrate the height of the C axis, which is this, just a little bit. Okay. If there's no resistance or only a little bit of resistance when pulling out the paper, you want to go down in the C-axis by 0.1 millimeters at a time. If the paper can't be pulled out or the resistance is high, like it is now, then you have to make it go higher on the C-axis by 0.1 millimeters. And if there's some resistance but you can still pull out the paper, then stop adjusting your C-axis, or as they call it, leveling. All right, so I can't pull it out here, so we're going to go 0 0.1 here. We're going to go up 1. And that's all it took. I'm going to go up one more. So I want a little resistance. I don't want a lot of resistance. So at this point, the leveling is completed. Okay, you can set your said axis position as the initial height at the first layer of printing were to take place. So go back to the previous menu. Click on set C to zero. And it's going to ask you to confirm. And that's it. This time the screen will pop up as a message asking you to confirm it and once you've confirmed it, you're good to go. So at this point, they're going to get you go back into the manual again on manual. I want you to set it to 10 and they're going to tell you in the manual, which is what I'm going to show you, you can go and buy the book 10 times. The reason they tell you 10 times is they want you to go up high enough so you can put your FEP back in. Right? That's the one uh, that's going to hold your resin. So this here, you want it to go up high enough so you can put this back in. Once it lines in, fasten your screws back down. And at this point, you are ready to print. But we want to do one more thing. We're going to go back. We're going to go home. And we're going to go tools one more time and exposure. Down here, we're going to click next. This is going to light up and inside. Now, I could have left the resin tank off so you could see it better, but you can see it. You can see it's all lit up in here. And if you get a 4K screen displaying the Elegoo technology, that's telling you that UV lights are working properly. And now you're ready to print. Put your cover back on and you're good to go. So that is all there is to leveling your resin printer. Of course, then you have to put your stuff in here for washing it and then you cure it. After you wash it, put it in something like this pan. All right. 
give it, I don't know, however long you decide you need. Some people say days, some people say an hour, some people say a few hours. You'll know. You can just check it. When it's no longer sticky um, to touch, then you're probably okay. But give it a while. The one thing you remember, fill this up to where it says max on the, on the plate in the back there with your resin. Then you're going to go back here and you're going to go print. Now you'll have to have a USB drive in here and it'll find your files and you can do your first print from there. Let's show you something else here. On the right hand side, all right, this is our wash station and this one is our curing station that I got the uh, resin printer cover on. All right, you need to rinse it in here. This will turn on, you hold it for three seconds, it'll come on. You set your time, and it depends on how big the scale model is, how long you have to have it there. Once that's done, you can put it in like a pan like I have here, and just let it, uh, you, you can leave it for, once you think it's pretty dry, then you can put it in the curing station and cure it. Really not much more to it than that. You can do tank clean, which basically means when your FEP is on here, uh, it'll, claw, it'll dry, all the any resin that's in there and so you can peel it off without destroying anything this is going to come it's going to have plastic on here it's going to have plastic on here and you're going to have plastic on here and it's just a screw it felt don't worry about that so don't pour water in this because this has to seal with the resin it'll seal it the first time you use it which i've already done but don't put water in it because it'll make that so it may leak and cause you to have a really bad day. It has a couple of feet on here, right? So when you set it, it goes into these little grooves. So you know you got it in the right spot. And uh, you can replace these over time if, they, uh, if you need to. So a few things to remember. Make sure this is up before you pour your resin in. I mean, I suppose you could do it the other way, but then you're, you could wind up with a big mess. All right, pick this back. Everything starts from the main screen. You have your tools, your system settings, and print. Now, in system settings, you have your info, all right? So what software and everything you're using, and you can turn things on and off if you want sounds. By default, it's off. You set your language, and services is if you want to contact them. Because you're having a problem and you want to get in contact with them directly all right of course your print won't work right now because there's no usb in here but if there was it would work tools you can change you can do tank clean which will harden anything that was in there uh, like when you're trying to get it super clean um, you can have a, a stop button which will just stop whatever it is you're doing in case you've made a mistake anything like that you can change your exposure time in case it's not doing things quite right it's not showing your uv light long enough to make it print right all right uh, and of course manual has all the settings i showed you before exposure just, that's pretty much it really of course when you print Everything will be in here if there's a USB. You pick your file and you're going to pick uh, go. Now, make sure when you put your resin in here, a couple safety features. Wear gloves. They give you gloves. They give you goggles. They give you a mask. Wear them. Important for your health. That's the only thing i got to say about that. Okay, so I wanted to show you a print actually taking place. Um, I had a couple failed prints at first. After I did the video and showed you how to level it, everything's been fine from there. You can see the print is really in here. Prints from the top to the bottom. All right, just the way it works, goes up and down. You can adjust the speed if you want to, if you need to, to make it better. Uh, it'll light up in here occasionally. And uh, you can pause it if, when you first get it about 30%. And then it'll come up and you can look and see if it's, uh, if it's held. It hasn't fallen off the, the build plate. And if it has, then chances are it's going to go through and the whole thing is going to be great. So when this is all said and done, 
I will show you uh, the print for this and the uh, other couple of test prints that I did. Okay, so I've finished my print job. I put it into the wash. So basically you unsnap this, put it into the little metal cage that's in here. I put it in for about 10 minutes. That's usually what has worked for me so far. Seal it all back up. I do use paper towel just to kind of damp mop it dry. Just what I do. It doesn't mean you have to. And in here, my curing machine, it's going now. I, let, I go for 30 minutes. There's 13 and a half minutes left. When we're done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's done. Here's the Grinch. Here's a couple of rooks. These are test prints. This is an actual me wanting to do something that I found online. So I want to show you just up close. So we'll try and get this to focus as best I can so you can have a really good look at it. So that has got some pretty good detail. I can see a little mark in his tummy there. But uh, overall, pretty darn good. Uh, and there's a hole there. I'm not sure if that's meant to be there, but and it's hollow. So, what do you think? It's pretty neat. And of course, to show demonstrate the rook, you can see the printing. Hello, Goo Mars Three Pro. Well, Pro, and the printing on the inside here. But and of course, this is a failed attempt at. Uh, Star Trek Enterprise. One thing I did find out, when you put these on your build plate, like in your software, I had it laying flat. I thought, do that in a 3D printer, how bad can it be? In a 3D printer, a resin printer, in a, in a 3D resin printer, angle it. All right, try to have at least a couple surfaces touching, and then it'll work fine. All right, make sure you're leveled first, everything's leveled off, everything's ready to go. And then when you're done, put it in the wash station in the middle there, and then put it in the curing station. Right now I'm doing 10 minutes in the wash station, 30 minutes in the curing. Things this size so far have been fine. All right, everybody, so that's the video. So we did a quick setup, basically putting the build plate on. We leveled it up, uh, showed you the wash station, uh, showed you the curing station being used and I showed you three prints afterward Now that I finally got everything working right Do not try and put it level onto your build plate Angle it. All right, that will make all the difference in the world as soon as I did that everything started printing fine It's kind of a no-brainer, but is a bit of mess to this So if you're thinking about getting into this just be aware Make sure you wear a mask make sure you wear the gloves and if you don't have glasses or even if you do, you might want to put the goggles that they provide, especially for the uh, curing station, uh, just to make sure that your eyes are protected. You don't want to ruin your eyes. You don't want to get a rash in your hands or anything like that. So take the necessary safety precautions, and everything will be fine. And you'll have a blast. I started off doing the test print. I did the Grinch. And I think I'm going to do the Star Trek Enterprise next, or at least a ship. So just to, just to see if it will do it. Because on my 3D printer, I can never get that to work out. So anyway, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. Give me that big old thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, thanks for watching.